Hi guys, I'm Fly Safe Blue Skies and welcome to my channel where we share tips and tricks on how you can reimagine, reinvent, and re-energize your life as a flight attendant, cabin crew, cabin attendant. Why do I keep saying that? I don't know. But anyways, today's topic is da -da 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 -da. in the closet, flight attendant style. Ba -boom. This month I'm on reserve, ah! but it's really not that bad, you know, because actually I only serve one month of reserve every four months. So, uh, my line holder months is great, but on reserve, see, you have no control of your schedule. And, you know, on reserve, so they put these, put these, they put these days that you're good for flying. And in my line, my line of my reserve line, I'm flying, you know, I have like four, four, about four days in between trips. So it's really not enough time for me to, you know, go anywhere. And it's actually too long for, for me to be stuck in my crash pad. So I ended up getting a small, very average standard one bedroom apartment in Las Vegas. You know, I'm based in Los Angeles, but Las Vegas, you know, the flight between Los Angeles and Las Vegas, it's only like 40, 45 minutes. So it's just enough like after a long trip that you can just sit down and close your eyes and just relax a little bit and then bam, you're in Las Vegas. So I come to this place uh, just to relax you know, deal with things. This is just for my flight attendant um, uh, career. So it's it should be tax deductible, you know, through my company, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, today I invited um, one of my fellow cabin crewmates uh, who also stays in, um, in Las Vegas, and this it's it's very rare because I I, I rarely, if any, um, invite people to my home. But this really isn't a residence. So I said, okay, you know, I can you know we're both on reserve. We're both here for a few days. Let me just you know inv invite uh, you know one of my one of my good cabin crew fly mates over to the house. We can have a beer. We can kick back and. You know, because people are curious about how I live my life. I don't know why, but I don't know. I guess there's just a cloud of mystery over me. But anyway, just came on in, cracked open a beer, you know, start talking, start watching um, um, a Netflix. We're kicking about watching and then, you know, finding, you know, just, you know, having a good time, guy time. You just have a good time. Then he turned to me <laughs> and he said, I just don't get you. And I'm like, Huh? You don't get me? What, I mean, what does that mean? He says, well, you know, in your, in, in your house, because people think, I don't live here, but I, I just stay here every now and then, but it's not really my house, and I got things in here. It's not like there's nothing in here. It's very homey, very comfortable, very according to my, my taste. I was like, huh? What do you mean? And he said, well, it's like you're not a flight attendant. You know, where's all your stuff? And I said, all oh, my stuff, what kind of stuff? He said, all oh, your flight attendant stuff. You know, it's like you're not even a flight attendant. It's like there's nothing in this place that that sh shows that you're a flight attendant. I was like, really? He said, and then he said, yeah, in my place I have, you know, airplane pictures and, and you know, rollerboards by the door and this and that. And I, and I thought to myself and I said, yeah, that's probably right. Because, you know, most people, most flight attendants are really into this flight attendant lifestyle. And I'm like, I'm a grown man. I don't you know, a flight attendant lifestyle, that's fine and dandy, but it's not a big deal. So I said, oh, I keep all of my stuff in the closet. And he says, in the closet? And I said, yeah, yeah all of my flight attendant stuff's in the closet. And he was like, Oh, can you show me? And I said, sure. And so I showed him, you know, where everything, how I, 
organized. So I went over there and I showed him my closet and he was like really impressed. And I was like, I don't get it. This is just, you don't have yours like this? He said, no, all my stuff is all scattered and this and that. And so for me, I keep all of my stuff in a segment of my closet. So it's not like you're walking in here and you're being reminded that you're a flight attendant. Everything is organized. And so I said, oh, maybe that would be pretty cool, an interesting video um, to shoot, showing you guys what's in my closet. So my space. Okay, so here we are. This is my coveted closet where I keep all of my flight attendant stuff in. Welcome to my closet! So here we have it. This is where I keep all of my related flight attendant goods and uniforms. So, um, as you can see here, like here's my carry-on um, luggage that I really never use. Um, here's a lunchbox here. Right here, there's like uh, my flight attendant tablet, extra batteries, cords, and things like that. Here's a can of um, shoe polish. In these files right here, I, I keep things like my bid package, uniform contract, um, or here's some, this one here is for like uh, passengers. I keep a lot of my passenger goods here. Like you can see, this is like a um, coloring book where I usually stow one of these in my bags for like unaccompanied minors who I really feel for them because you know they're stressed out they're traveling alone it's just just you know usually they're you know they're traveling between parents and divorce situations so it's really kind of hard so I I try to pay extra attention to them so I I break out one of my coloring books and let's see what else do I have over here, if you guys can see, this is where I keep like my uniform pieces, like my sweater. I usually wear a sweater, um, shirt, and here I keep my um, ID badge, also a tie. So if I get called for a trip or something, I can just grab these, take them to the shower, take my pair of slacks, and boom, you're in and out of your uniform. You don't have to think about it. And right here is like, this is a bag, um, a Braniff International bag. Braniff was an airline that flew in the 70s and 80s, early 80s. And I absolutely love Braniff. It was the first airline that ever flew on. Um, the flight attendants were so cool. And they wore these space age outfits. It was just, it was a wonderful time. And I wish they had the opportunity to work for them, but I was just too young. Oh, well. Um, here's another part of my uniforms garment bag that has all my jackets like it's full full uniforms in here What you can see here. This is sort of like You see these little backpacks And this is key to my system Each one of these backpacks carries like everything that I need for a three-day trip and like Everything is like, for me, I keep everything really organized and pre-packed. And, you know, you can probably see that there's a cube in here. All the cube, it has my socks, underwear, swimsuit, shirts, pants. Everything that I need for a three-day trip is in this little day bag. So all I have to do, is, because everything's pre-packaged, pre-packed, and everything else, I just, whenever I have to go on a trip, I just go over here. And um, just pick up one of these and pick up, I go over here and pick up one of these day bags and boom, everything that I need is right in this day bag. I don't have to think about what I'm going to wear and blah, blah, blah. It takes up too much time and too much stress. I just go grab a bag, throw it in my rollerboard. So here you can see my rollerboard. I keep my um, shoes, like my normal uniform shoes and my in-flights. And, you know, I also like, if you go back to here, after every trip, I go through my wallet and um, everything that I have spent during my layovers, um, I usually compile a, 
I put I transfer everything like into an Excel spreadsheet and that's how I keep track of all of my expenses and I scan the receipts kind of like anal over that but oh well everything is a grab and go that you just pick like a uniform pieces and boom take a shower get dressed and you're out of here and you don't have to think of it so tell me how do you guys organize your flight attendant stuff is it is it similar to me am I, or am I the only one that does things like this? Or is it, um, do you keep it like in all your dresser drawers just all over the place? You know, if you can, I'm curious. Why don't you guys let me know um, how you organize your flight attendant stuff in the comment section. And I'll, you know, I'm, I'm definitely interested to hearing all about that. So again, this is Fly Safe Blue Skies and Thank you for watching this video. We're going to be creating new videos frequently. So make sure you hit that like button, the bell button that, that will let you know exactly when I've uploaded a new video. And I hope you can see you guys soon. So fly safe, blue skies, soar high. See ya.